Hey guys, this is Madison Star Moon. I'm making this video today to expose the lying shill crisis acting astronauts allegedly on board the ISS International Space Station. There's no one aboard the International Space Station, and this guy is definitely lying. Today's episode is called Astronaut Shaves His Head on Board the Space Station NASA ISS. As you can see right here, there's a big chunk of hair that has been shaved off when he is shaving his entire head. I want you guys to pay attention to that and then watch as he pretends to be floating around in space. I'm going to go out on a limb here and give the full on Luca Parmitano look for the Hatch Opening Ceremony. So please join me at Chris's Barbershop. Okay, so we're supposed to be at Chris's Barbershop on the ISS. I mean, look at him. Does it look like he's been in space? Looks like he just got out of the barber shop. His hair is short. His eyebrows look like they've been plucked. You know, he has a little bit of a goatee, but that's just the facial hairstyle he wants. Alrighty, let's watch this. Okay, so here's how we cut hair in space. We have the standard hair trimmer, but the hair would go all over the place. So we need to connect it to our vacuum cleaner. Okay, so he just said the hair would go all over the place, and that's why they have to connect it to this vacuum cleaner. All over the place. So we need all to over the her. place. But the hair would go all over the place. So we need to connect it to our vacuum cleaner. Which Look at this huge right thing. Here. Wow. And now we're ready to cut hair. Have you guys ever noticed on these videos that they always use the cheesiest, corniest, almost sounds like game show theme music? It's to give the illusion that, oh, everything's happy and carefree, and look how much fun we're having in space, when they can really die at any second. What do you think so far? Should I stop here? We think you're a degenerate douchebag liar. I don't think so. That's what we all think. Here we go. Look at that, and look at his face. He's like, oh, fuck. He just did, made a mistake, and that hair went flying right out of his grasp. Let's watch that again. Here's your last look at the Mohawk. It's coming off. Look at him. He's looking at it like, oh, shit. Did that really just happen? It sure did, because you're an idiot. Here's your last look at the Mohawk. It's coming off. Alrighty, so, you know, we see how careful he's being shaving his head in space. Mind you, that chunk of hair with who knows how many hairs was in that section. Here's your last look at the Mohawk. It's coming off. Okay, right there. That's where it cut. Look at that. That whole big piece. Wow. <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck. Yep, so, I mean, you see what a farce this is. These people are lying about being in space. The hygienic issues alone they cannot explain away. Just the simplest hygienic issues. And where is this guy putting all of his, like, nat nasty, dirty hair and everything? Does he have a garbage bag or something? I mean, it's supposed to be sucked up in the thing, but what about the hair that's actually on the clipper? I mean, these are little fine particles of hair. I don't think I've looked like this since Cleve Summer. You look like a tool. Anyways, I just wanted to expose that to you guys because you remember in the beginning. Join me to Chris's Barbershop. Okay, so here's how we cut hair in space. We have your standard hair trim. See right there where he's letting it float around? He's doing that to give the illusion of um, that okay, he's in so space. Here's how we cut hair. He probably did this part on a vomit comet. This is probably a converted airplane. Hair in space. We have your standard hair trimmer. But the hair would go all over the place, so we need to connect it to our vacuum cleaner. Good job, buddy.